What's going on YouTube? Gabriel White here representing the movement towards improvement. We're over here back at Woods Valley Golf Club. We've got my boy Trey in the background. Uh, take a look at this swing, Leah. Pretty pure. So we're going to do a little what's in the bag with Trey. Talk about his game. Talk about his swing. It's super pure. Let's start. All right, what club you got, Trey? Got a little eight iron. Uh, what clubs do you play right there? The, my irons are scratch SB1s. Got my little initial there in them, and I play a KBS Tour Custom. It's like graphite color a lot. It's a custom series, huh? I've never seen those. Yeah, it knocks the ball down a little bit for me. Um, gets me a little tighter pattern. But, um, oh yeah, and I play Ionic Grips. Okay. Trey's got a damn good looking swing. All right, take us through the rest of your bag, Trey, then we'll go back to getting some more balls. Some Mira wedges. I have the, what are they, the Y grind. Sorry, they're. So I have the Y grind in my 60 and 51 degree, and then the 56 degree, my sand wedge is kind of their mirrors K grind. I have Nippon shafts in these. Now, Nippon, are, Nippon, are they lighter? No, they're a little bit heavier. They're a little, um, I think they increase the speed a little more. So just 115 gram stiff shafts. Okay. And then, like I said, I play four through pitching wedge. Now, what's the lie on those? Lie angle is two degrees upright on everything. Okay. And then, so, and then I play four through pitching wedge. Don't have a three iron at all. I have a two hybrid. It's a ping rapture, 18 degree. How do you like this thing? I saw you getting it pretty good today. It's pure. It goes a little baby fade. Now I have a KBS hybrid shaft, steel shaft in it. Again, ionic grip on there. The spin numbers look really good with that. Yeah, it's really low. It kind of doesn't flare out in the wind or anything. It goes uh, pretty low and rolls a lot. Are also, you have, do you have standard length clubs? Yeah, everything's okay. standard. Also, I have an old six year old Callaway three wood with a Pro Force V2 shaft in there. I hit this maybe once every month. And then I have a tailor made SLDR 46, 430, excuse me, um, just set neutral, standard loft. It's a 10 and a half degree with a 77 gram extra flex. Extra stiff shaft. Okay. All ionic ionic grips? Yeah, ionic grips, and it has a notorious speeder shaft in there. Okay. Oh, and, and then I have a... Show us the little, the baby. The baby Mira blade yeah, is the badass. KM350 forged. Um, and if you look on this top line right here. Yeah, that's sweet. This thing's a tiny little thing. Put it like a T up to it. We'll a put a golf ball to it. And then a golf, uh, again, ionic grip on there. How long is that? Um, I think 33 and a half. But if you can see, the ball is really just a little bit smaller in the face. Yeah, I mean, it's about the length of a tee. Like a normal tee almost, basically. So, but it's, it's really heavy. It has a little, really good weight, and it's really pure. So, it, um, it really just helps me focus down on the ball and get my line set up. And there's not a lot of distraction. Yeah, you were putting good with that today. All right, do you mind showing us what you got in the bag? Oh yeah, so I go old school, um, Ziploc bag full of grit gloves. I did a video on that, by the way. So these gloves probably, I probably haven't touched this glove in like three, four rounds. Soft, not stiff at all. I got some rain gloves in there just in case, some cold weather gloves. I'm from the South Carolina, so it doesn't get cold here in San Diego. But that, some cold weather gloves, some rain gloves in case it gets a little nasty and wet. That makes your gloves last how much longer, do you think? Uh, 10 times longer. Yeah. I mean, I've had this glove for like three or four months. I don't hit a lot of range balls, but it really doesn't get stiff. It doesn't get dry. Do your hands sweat at all? Uh, no, not really. So you don't have sweaty hands, so they don't get like wet to begin with to get hard? So no, so, and it's really that, not that, doesn't get that hot and it's not, lot, not humid as it is in the Southeast where everything just gets moist. So, um, I don't know, right here I have tees. Um, of course I got my range finder. What type of range finder do you got? I have a Leupold. GX1 okay. standard. Does that, does that do slope or anything? No, it doesn't do slope because it's tournament play. You can't use that. Okay. Also, you can't only use it if they don't know. I that's play true, right? All the time. I got slope on that bad boy. It's um, <laughs> it's only illegal if you get caught. That's yeah, exactly. my, my parents always taught me <laughs> just snack some flower seeds. I got peanuts. Got to stay, you know, hung, hunger kind of kills on the golf course. Energized uh, a little bit. Yeah, and also, and then I just had this pocket full of ball markers and tees and pencils. I got some from, and then I got like 
some bag tags from places I played. Chambers Bay. Chambers Bay now, I heard that place is pretty sweet. And then Turtle Bay, or Turtle Bay as well. So it's crazy, Chambers Bay is a little um, league style golf course in the Pacific Northwest. They're having the 2015 US Open there. This is gonna be interesting to watch. I heard that course is hard. Yes, it's windy. The rough's like two to three feet in some places and like four to five inches. What's the favorite, your favorite course you've ever played? Um, favorite course? Probably, I don't know, I get to play Torrey Pines for like 40 bucks, so that's not bad. You can't beat the view, huh? No, view's awesome. And then Chambers Bay's got to be up there at number two. And then, of course, back home, I like um, the Davis Love Course at Barefoot Resort. Nice. How old are you, Trey? 23. Where are you from? South Carolina. That's, as you can see. Yeah. And then I ripped the state flag everywhere. And you were also in the Navy as well? I was. I served four years, got out, and now I'm going to school. What are you looking to do? you looking to play some college golf? Just the goal, to try out to maybe walk on somewhere at USD. Um, it's a Division II school, so nothing crazy. Yeah, I got to play nine holes with Trey today. I mean, he beat me. He played really good. Um, he's got a good swing. Short game needs a little work, but from what I've seen, I think if Trey can just get a place, a membership somewhere, and put in the time, I mean, he's a little off here and there. Very little to actually being a really, really good player. And I think that's the biggest thing for me. And you just put in some time, some work ethic. Yeah. And you'll be you'll be shooting at a par consistently every time. So, you know, I support Gabe for the movement towards improvement. And that's what my goal is, to move forward from today. Yeah, thanks, Trey. He donated for my Hawaii trip, which I really appreciate. Um, so he's going to get that access. And I recorded a swing on slow motion today. So I'm going to take that to Hawaii. And uh, we'll definitely be analyzing that because... Trey does a lot of good things, as you could just see from hitting him, hitting him, hitting him a few shots. And so it'd be nice for, I think it'd be good for Trey to know what he does well. So you know why you hit it good. Yeah. And then also maybe small areas you can work on as well. So exactly. Thanks, Trey. I appreciate your support, man. I'm glad you can play some golf living out here in San Diego. Dude, we'll play a lot more golf, my man. All right. Thank you. I need your help. No, I need your help. <laughs> I need your help, man. This grass like pretty thick. Yeah, it just snags you. That's why you have to do what we we're talking about earlier. So you got to feel like your hands are just coming up earlier. Because yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like some of this grass is it, like pretty thick. Where like where the actual snags it, you know? Yeah. Snags your club, for sure. Absolutely. That's good. Like that was perfect, right? Yeah. I was taking a look at Trey's swing, and I'll throw it up on slow mo and show you guys exactly what I mean, but. He has a tendency from time to time, just like myself, to hit a little heavy, especially with this Bermuda grass. Um, the club can get snagged really quick and kind of slow it down. He kind of gets snagged up, a little stubby, I like to say. Yeah, that's pure. So I was just telling him that the lowest point, your hands should get to the lowest right around your right thigh and start working up. So I was just telling him to feel like his left shoulder is pulling back a little more. The hands are rising earlier. Does his hands go down too long? Are you trying anything different right now, Trey? Or feeling anything different? Yeah, just because the divots look better. Pull, pull up at it instead of coming this way. Just like Gabe said, coming up and um, kind of pulling a little left. Yeah, like you're clearing a little more. So it gets rid of my miss, which is typically like an inch behind the ball and fat. And I lose a little bit of yardage. Yeah, that's pure. I mean, that's it, right? I mean, that's how close you are, you know? Yeah. I mean, Trey's got a really good swing for him. All I saw when I was looking at it, and like I said, I'll throw it up the slow mos, was his face has a tendency to be a little open, which might have to have him depend on a little more timing. And his divots can be a little steep at times, but as you can see, he just fixed his divots. Uh, that's pure. I mean, that's the thing at the end of the day, man. I mean, if you're trying to get better, I was telling Tyler inside, it just comes to practice. You know, like the, the, the professional golfers I've hung around, they'll spend hours a day working on short game. And at one point I was hitting bad bunker shots and I had asked myself, like, how many hours did you practice bunker shots this week? I was like, none. I just went out and played, you know? Yeah, and that's... So that's, imagine, if you, imagine if you practiced an hour in the bunker every day for four days. That's the thing. I, I, you know, I'm kind of glad I'm going to have a membership somewhere and 
have a consistent spot to play at. That's pure. Yeah, man, I'm serious. That's what it is. I mean, you have the, you know you like like your old coach said. You know you have the nat that the physical capabilities, right? Yeah, I just need to. Um, from there, from that point on, it's just refining. It's just refinement, tidiness. That and you know, like, I think today was the sixth time I played golf in three months. Yeah, dude. I mean, Sam's played six times in three days. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, I played 36 holes today. Yeah. Especially, man, if you got out there and you got to play and practice more and then you got to start playing a couple little, like, matches with some buddies that were able to push you because they're better. I mean, that's perfect, man. Oh! <laughs> I think I almost took out this beat. Dude, I thought for sure, like, I, I haven't seen anyone come close to hitting a bird in a long time. I mean, there was, like, ten of them, so you had, like, a pretty good chance because you were going right be, like, that Randy Johnson pitch, you know, like, yeah. come up and just see feathers fly everywhere. Yeah. Imagine the timing of that, that pitch and that bird. Holy smoke. That bird was flying, too. Yeah. 